Along the southwestern coast of West Africa, Liberia is home to some 5 million people, almost half of which live within rural areas. Much of Liberia's rural population live within almost 10,000 villages spread throughout the country. Many of these villages are only accessible on foot. This greatly limits accessibility to bringing produce to markets, which is often the only source of income here. Women and children are especially affected. They are the ones who carry the burden of taking goods to markets over long distances using their heads. Income is ultimately determined by what a woman or child can carry. Healthcare is often hours away. Children on five regularly lose their lives due to easily preventable diseases such as malaria, diarrhea, and pneumonia that could be treated at clinics. Combined with governance that continually struggles to provide basic infrastructure, every day here is a slow and constant struggle. And with a changing climate, the challenges are expected to be only more intense. The rise of the motorcycle year has opened new opportunities for transport all over Africa, and especially in Liberia. And while road networks are slowly growing, construction and maintenance of roads in Liberia is extremely expensive. Feeder roads in many parts of Africa cost at least $50,000 per kilometer, while paved roads cost upwards of a million dollars per kilometer. But there is a creative opportunity to expand mobility in rural areas that's much more cost effective and that can rapidly help populations access markets, health care and schools. Trail sized for motorcycles, bicycles and three wheelers are a highly cost effective and efficient solution for increasing mobility to rural areas. These trails can be built using local, community labor, and for substantially less money, and their impact is substantial. These trails' main produce can be delivered to markets with a vehicle instead of on women and children's heads. More money can be generated because more goods can be sold at markets and women and children no longer bear the burden of an extremely inefficient transport method. Healthcare is now within reach. Schools can be more easily accessed by children. Trail planning, construction and maintenance is a direct result of local, community-based decision-making and control, known as community-driven development. A community is mobilized and organized and directly participates in the development of their tracks. This not only empowers the local population, but strengthens local governance and increases the track's effectiveness and sustainability. The process begins with focus groups and planning meetings to determine where to create the tracks that will have the greatest impact while also being the most cost-effective. Next, community-based organizations, or CBO, are created to manage track construction and maintenance. Local leaders of the CBOs are trained in project management and trail engineering so that they can effectively manage the track development. Contracts are then signed that officiate their organizations. These CBOs hire their local community members to create teams that will construct and ultimately maintain the tracks. Women are encouraged to be a part of these CBOs as well as to more fully integrate them into the projects and their communities. This employment provides much needed income to the villages while creating their own trail networks that will continue to enhance their livelihoods for years to come. The local ownership of the trails, from the early phases of planning through the construction and to their actual use, gives the community a strong sense of pride and value to their work, which not only motivates their construction, but also helps to ensure maintenance is undertaken to protect their investment. 
these trails can create a ripple effect of income generation, access to health care and education, not to mention creating experience with governance, engineering, and maintenance. Reducing the transport burden to women and children means more opportunities open for them for income generation and education. And other development initiatives, such as those targeting health, water and sanitation, are also able to reach these villages with greater efficiency. Once the wheels start rolling on these tracks, momentum is created that leads to a cycle of progression. And that's what's needed in Liberia. And all over rural Africa, where over 400 million people face the same daily burden. I'm very happy to be here, to be in here with you in the world because you have done well for us.